Last week we made homemade sausage gravy. This week we're going to make simple sausage and gravy. This is some of my favorite. Yes, it's kind of cheating, but it is really, really good. I make this all the time. I made this for my best friend when him and his family visited, and they loved it, could not believe the way we made it. So let's get into the recipe. You need two things. You need Jimmy Dean hot sausage if you can get that. I like the hot sausage just because it's more flavorful. And I use the Libby's Country Sausage Gravy in the can. I use two cans for one pound of meat. This stuff is really good. The other thing I use, believe it or not, is the Walmart Great Value Country Sausage and Gravy. There's no sausage in it. But just the gravy mixed with the Jimmy Dean sausage is terrific. First thing we're going to do is we're going to brown the sausage. Again, this is the clip from last week where I browned the sausage. I just figured I'd show it to you again. I'm only using half of this sausage because I used half of that sausage for the recipe last week. So I'm only going to use one can. So again, if you're going to use a whole pound of sausage, which you probably will, it makes about six to eight biscuits. Use two cans of the gravy. So I'm going to take out about half of that. That was for the thing last week. So now with the magic of editing, we're into this week. We've got the, the sausage gravy brown. We're going to take the can gravy. Again, this one or the Walmart brand works really, really well. You want to put it into the pot and let it simmer for a good 10 minutes or so to absorb up some of the grease. There's not much, but the grease from the sausage. Again, I use the Jimmy Dean hot because the hot has a lot more flavor than the regular does. Just incorporate it all in. Fancy name for mixing it up. And sometimes when I'm feeling a little gingerly, I actually put some more pepper in here. So a little more pepper is not going to hurt. You don't need any more salt because actually there's a lot of salt in the sausage. So just keep, keep it warm. Warm it all the way through. This is as good, if not better, than the stuff I made last week. And yes, it's out of a can. It's actually the perfect consistency that I usually like. Take a biscuit. And I just use the Pillsbury refrigerated biscuits. This will be a short video just because there's not much to this. And if you've never tried sausage gravy, you can try this. You're not going to waste a lot of time making it. This stuff is delicious. Again, two cans for one pound if that's what you're going to do. And now for the rating system. We have four categories. One being a lazy chef. Five being a full home chef. For a total of up to 20 points. Prep time is a one. Brown the meat. Pour it together. Heat it up. It's about as easy as you can get. Number of ingredients, it's two, or unless you want to add a little more pepper, maybe it's three. Unique ingredients, it's a one. Unique equipment, it's definitely a one. So this is going to be a total of four, the easiest thing we can cook. And if you like sausage gravy, you will love this. If you could, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell so you get notified every Thursday at noon when we have a new recipe come out. Let me know if you try it. Thanks.